to know each other as friends because we had a similar taste in in electro music when we were in our teens. And I guess um, our tastes have remained relatively similar. We also use um, similar equipment, and so they're all, all, all of these things, I think, combine um, to, yeah, hopefully have a coherent sound as a band, as opposed to, you know, uh, a, a compilation of um, two people's work. We were both quite into early hip hop culture and break dancing. It was that the early kind of forms of electronic um, dance music, really, which was electro. And as Andy said, that that seeped into uh, Detroit techno and Chicago house, um, and then a sort of all the various other types of music. We often joke that between the two of us, we make one kind of functional human being. Um, but we, uh, I guess um, we've known each other since we were sort of 10 or 11. And, you know, you tend to, it's basically your environment that influences your output to a large degree. We, we listen to quite a broad array of music these days and it all kind of, uh, it all, all comes in and goes back out again somehow. I think the advantage to working with somebody else, even though you know often the writing process can be quite solitary, um, is 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 the fact that you know, but you you can tend to be a little overindulgent if you're if it's just you, and um, having somebody else around who's sort of got a slightly more remote perspective on what's going on. Because sometimes when you're really in it, you know, you can spend a night sort of. Um, shaping a hi-hat or something, you know, and it really ultimately isn't making a, a big difference to the overall picture. And so having somebody else around that you can play ideas to and, and get some feedback and um, maybe identify things that are just not, not necessary or not working, it's quite healthy. doing something that's very minimal and very filtered and um, refined. It's always trying to, I think that we had the, uh, everything that's there should have a purpose. There should be, you know, yeah. like no, no unnecessary kind of fat basically. So it's just a concise, it's the concise idea and just trying to make the sounds as interesting and rich as possible and, you know, and to have them develop when you first start writing you just kind of chuck everything in unless you you're sort of really sophisticated to start with because it just yeah. sounds it sounds great you know just hearing all these layers and and also you're the creator so you just kind of keep adding adding layers and layers i think with time um i think and, and maybe even to do with age you kind of want less you want to do more with less really
well, I certainly enjoy, um, uh, you know, creating harmonic layers. So I, I enjoy uh, creating kind of interweaving melodies and things like that. That's that's very pleasurable because you can just go into a, a, a good uh, a good space and your imagination can run wild and, and you can waste hours doing that. So I really enjoy that. Whether I'm good at it, uh, I'm not convinced yet but maybe <laughs> yeah you're, you're pretty good some yes no sometimes i make something really happy with um i so that yeah that's certainly the thing i i enjoy the most the rhythmic component i i suppose i would uh i enjoy messing around with kind of rhythms and layering different rhythms so you get some kind of interplay and uh, yeah i i would I'll, I'll take i'll take rhythm <laughs> idea of those old songwriters that would write songs for other people to sing and if there was an equivalent with electronic music where we could pay some young people to go out and play to represent <laughs> us because <laughs> that would probably be unacceptable even in, with a regular band it's there's there's a lot of that and there's going away and working on your your riff there is a lot of alone time i, I think in any in any musical sort of group because you need to reflect and you need to practice and experiment and those are only things you can really do by yourself at a certain point. to um, put yourself in the position of the audience as to why people are still following us. We continue to write music that we really like and we hope that if we like it then other people will like it and that's basically our plan. <laughs> and I suppose not becoming too related to fashions um, and movements mm. in music, yeah. although we kind of started from one which was this development of techno really um, that happened in, in, in the UK. I think since then, although we kind of take parts of, you know, new music that we like, we don't generally conform to, to a, a scene or a style. That helps us just carry on because we do what we feel like doing. Um, and we also don't have to try and reinvent ourselves each time um, we do an album, which I know some artists do, and I, and I respect them for it, but I think our, our progression is quite subtle which annoys some people, but <laughs> it's, uh, I think that gives it some longevity because it's, it's a very slow, we're, we're kind of like tortoises.
us have really ever been satisfied with what we've made completely and obviously that's an unobtainable thing really to be completely content and satisfied with what you've made um, but you still keep wanting to do it and that means trying to learn more trying to not repeat yourself too much trying to do things in different ways and and just be excited and stimulated by it I think that's that's the, the sort of simple reason to carry I'd on go along with that yeah just to, to write write some really good music or hopefully continue writing some good music just to get better at what we do.